Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Patty, and today I will be taking you through a full body mobility routine. This is not necessarily the best mobility routine. There is no best routine, but I like this one. This is pretty much my favorite exercises that I do before I work out. Um, you also don't have to do them before workout. They can be done on their own. You can just practice mobility for the sake of practicing mobility. It doesn't need to be warming up for strength training or anything else. That's totally fine. Mobility is pretty subjective, so ultimately the number that you do is going to depend on what you're comfortable with. While I might feel comfortable after doing 15 reps, it might take you 20 reps to feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So don't necessarily take this as an end-all be-all. Just kind of take it as a learning process and then make it your own, make it fun, make it fancy, make it fantastic. Without further ado, let's get started. Going to start with what I would consider probably one of the most popular hip opening mobility movements, the 90-90. It's called the 90-90 because your leg is in a 90 degree and a 90 degree, 90-90. So here. Wow, look at that, check it out. We're switching the 90s, oh my gosh. There, I count that as one. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Another variation of the 90-90 is having your hands back like this. I'm pretty sure this is technically something else, like it's called something else. I don't think it's that important to know all the names to everything all the time, especially when people just make up the names. You know, I've heard people call one exercise something crazy that they definitely just made up on the spot. <laughs> I, it's not... The concepts are all there, you know what I'm saying? And if you find yourself scooting forward, that's okay. Just concentrate on controlling your movement and if need be, scoot back. <laughs> Next movement, we are going to be doing the ATG split squat. So this movement is really good for your knee strength and overall lower body mobility. So you start with a pretty wide stance. Deep lunge. These can also be weighted. You can just hold little dumbbells. You could weight it from your shoulders. You could wear a weight vest. It can be weighted many different ways. I would focus, especially at the beginning, more on the quality over the weight bearing, though. Okay, I like to do between six and 10 per leg. If that movement by itself is just a little too much right now, you're not feeling that you're able to do it, that is okay. The purpose of mobility is to, you know, increase that over time. Here's a couple of variations that you can do to build up to that. One, you could just, you know, do this. It's kind of more this hip opening. Very nice, slow controlled. Another variation is increasing the height of your lead leg. So you can also use like a chair. Pretty much the higher, obviously up to a certain degree, the leg is, the easier the movement's gonna be. So 
There we go. Nice. Okay, so that was six each leg. I did show it with the progression for the left leg, but if you can do it without needing the progression, do it without the progression and six each leg, or again, just feel it out. Whatever feels good for you, feeling warmed up, that is the number you wanna do. It doesn't have to be super strict. Okay, next movement, we are going to be doing the Cossack squat. So basically, it's like a super deep, side lunge. I feel most of this stretch in my hamstring. You might feel it somewhere else though. Starting position. I count that one. Five. So a variation for the COSA squat, apart from just not going all the way down, if you can't go all the way down, is to hold on to something. You can use a chair, you can use a table, you can use an adjustable bench. I'm gonna use this big box. And then hold it for support. And go where you can. You can hold your friend's hand. If you have a friend whose hand you can hold. <laughs> I didn't mean that in a mean way. You know what I meant. Next, we're gonna do the deep squat into hamstring stretch movement. So this has two difficult portions, the deep squat and the hamstring stretch. Both are pretty difficult. You start in a deep squat. Grab your toes, if possible. Rise, rise your butt. There's one. Two. Three, Eight, nine, ten. And here is a variation for that, both if you can't get that deep in your squat and if you're not able to touch your toes yet, here's something you can try. This movement, very difficult for people, even based on just physiology alone, sometimes people's legs are proportioned in a way that makes this position difficult. Just go where you can. Straighten. This is a good progression. Eventually, maybe you get a little lower. Feel it, the progression. We're progressing, we're progressing. Okay, moving on to some mobility of this region. The thoracic area. Thoracic twist. Start lifting up. Threading the needle. Needle threaded. Nice. Feeling a good stretch in your upper back. Reaching 
Please, upward. <laughs> Other side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, those can feel pretty good. So if you wanna do more of those, you can do more of those. But I feel like five slow, five to six, between five and 10 slow movements each side is usually enough for me, especially with everything else together. But maybe if you were only gonna do that, maybe you wanna do a, a bit more. It's really feel it out, listen to your body. Your body is more intelligent than you give it credit for a lot of times. So, yes. Next, we're gonna do everybody's favorite cat cow i know this one can be awkward it's notorious even infamous but it is a really great exercise so i'm going to show you two variations one classic cat cow cat feeling the pull up through the shoulders and then breathe out That was five, I think. Another variation that's also good that I find is less awkward because your butt is not in the air is a shoulder cat cow. You can pretty much do a cat cow with every little segment of your back, but the lower one's like the hardest one. Anyway, the shoulder cat cow. Reach up through your shoulders. Shrug, it's like a shrug. Okay, and then I'm not even gonna attempt. This one is just like, you're like, eh, 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 eh. Um, I'm not gonna do that. But you could also try that out. Really get some good body awareness doing these things. Sometimes it can also help to film yourself or look at yourself in a mirror. Um, for me at least, that helps create the mind-muscle connection is looking at these things. Okay, next we are going to do child's pose and seal pose. I'm pretty sure those are like the yoga names for them. I don't do yoga, so pardon me if there's a different name, but this is what I call these stretches. I'm 100% positive there are other names for these stretches. This one's a lat stretch, and then this one's like an abdominal stretch. So, getting started. I like to start in the seal just to get my positioning. You can start in the other one. So you start here, breathe in as you go up. Breathe again. And then breathe out. Really stretch forward. You should be feeling this in your lats. It feels amazing. And then return.
feels so good. Oh my gosh. Stretching up like a seal, ready for that circus ball to hit you in the face. And then <laughs> stretch back. Ooh, yeah. This that one kind of reminds me more of a cat than a child. But I don't know. I don't spend a lot of time around children, so to be fair, I don't know the poses that they get into. Okay, that was five. You can do more, but that is enough. That feels like enough to me. Like, I feel good after that. But that does feel really, really good. So if you want to do more, you should do more. <laughs> Next, we're going to do some shoulder cars. Controlled articular rotation. So I'm going to show you two variations. First variation, single arm in this bent over position. Here, reach behind your back. I'll do it with my hand open so you can see how my shoulder's rotating. other single arm. Here I really focus on the ability of my shoulder to rotate. Bruh. I did a really bad job of breathing in that one. I, I was not breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure breathe air. This other shoulder car uh, variation, you can do double arm, just like seated. You could also do it standing, but for the sake of this, I am not gonna stand up. So, up, sun salutation. Just kidding, that's not a sun salutation. Behind your back. Okay, that was those two variations. I wouldn't say one is better than the other one. I usually do the single arm one, just because, I don't know, that's the one I usually like to do, but you can do whichever one you want. Last but not least, we are going to be doing some supine angels. Here, I have a foam roller. You don't necessarily have to use a foam roller, but the foam roller feels really, really good. So if you have the option, I would say go for it. Foam roller. I'll show you without the foam roller too, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna understand what to do without it. Lay on the foam roller. Like I said in a previous video, sacrifice. Arms out to the side. Stretch up. Ooh, yeah. I usually do 
like 10 to 12 of these. I'm gonna do the last six just on the ground, the way that nature intended. You can also do these seated up against a wall. <laughs> So relatively self-explanatory, wall angels. Okay, and that is going to conclude today's mobility routine. Like I said earlier, this is not an exhaustive list of mobility movements. There are plenty of other great movements. These are just some of my personal favorites. These are the ones that I have kind of conditioned myself to do before every workout. So they, they come very naturally to me and after a little bit of time, if you like them, I'm sure they will come naturally to you too. If this didn't feel like it was enough for you, that's also fine. The numbers are very subjective. You can do more. By all means, please don't get started in a workout if you're not comfortable and feeling ready to work out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about this mobility routine. Let me know if you already do these movements, if you like these movements, if you're not a fan of these movements. I appreciate all of your feedback always. And with that being said, I hope you have a great time and a wonderful workout if you're about to work out. Adios.